Okay, this is a very brief video explaining um, how an object can become electrically charged. But in order to explain that, we need to understand that atoms aren't indivis indivisible. So what's inside of an atom? Atoms, remember from year seven, are particles of matter. They were once believed to be solid spheres but we now know that they are made of three smaller particles. There are protons, which are positive, neutrons, which are neutral, and electrons, which are negative. The way I remember this is p -p protons are p -p positive, and neutrons are neutral, which only leaves me the electrons to remember are negative. There's a little diagram of an atom for you, and I'd like you to copy that into your notes. Um, copy it pretty carefully and make sure that you get all of the labels down as well. Giving it some color coding would be a really good idea. All right, so there's our diagram of our atom once again. Note that the neutrons and the protons are stuck together in the very, very center of the atom, and they make up what's called the nucleus. The nucleus is positive because it's made of positive protons and neutral neutrons. The electrons, which remember are negative, are attracted to the nucleus, and they move around the nucleus. So the electrons, together with the nucleus, make up the entire atom. In order to charge an object, we can rub two objects together, and that can cause the electrons in the atoms of one object to move into the atoms on the other object. Now both objects will be charged. The object that lost electrons is positively charged, and that is quite counterintuitive in the beginning. It's important to remember that electrons are negative. So if you shed some of your negativity, you end up more positive. Uh, the opposite of that is true too. Objects that gain electrons become negatively charged because they pick up extra negative uh, charges. And that's really all there is to it. And we'll illustrate that when we see each other in class.